favorite keys to play in so we're going to do just a simple E chord and this is all this stuff's going to be I'm going to come a little closer to you so you can see uh, simple E chord here uh, we're going to root the low E on the second fret and we're not going to play we're not going to play the A string at all so it's just the, the right and you go to the D and the G and then open B and E. Alright. Then move it up a whole step. Now we're going to play the A string where it's open and you got a like a power chord right here in the two middle strings. Alright, so on the uh, what is that? On the D on the fourth and the G on the sixth. You make that a power chord and you hit that open A. Really, really, really pretty chord. So we're going to, that's the uh, chord progression that I like to use. And then back to E with a up rake, as I call it. Tapped harmonics are not necessary. It's just one of my things I caught from Eddie's. Anyway, so we're gonna. I'm gonna show you this. Uh, I think would be a cool little kind of lead thing on one string, uh, the G string, in the key of E. I would think. So we're going to slide from the sixth fret to the ninth and back. See that right there. 6th fret to the ninth. Six, seven, eight, nine. yeah, that's right. I just want to make sure I'm telling you right and go back. And then we're going to go down to the 4th. And then to the 2nd. 1st. And then to the 2nd on the D. If you can, if you can, make sure you put vibrato with your notes, right? That is, as Paul Gilbert says, I think he said in an interview, vibrato is like your soul, you know, and you need to make that sing, right? Just those slide up and backs like that, man, I, I, I got that from Satriani. He does that a lot. Um, he'll be kind of like... I love that. That is, that is, when I heard him do that, I said, whoa, what is that? You know, it's just, it was just, I never heard that before. Kind of goes out of the box and back in, but then he'll do something like that, and then he'll burn for a minute, right? <laughs> So, being melodic, man, says a lot. I mean, uh, it's something I, I try to stick with, especially with original music. Uh, I haven't done an original in a while, but that's what I really try to do. Now, doing cover songs, which I love to do, is a totally different beast, you know, for me. You know, you just kind of, you can just have fun and, and, do, your, and do your thing. You know, and so I think everybody's guilty of that, but I know I am. So that's just a quick little uh, inside to what I think is cool. Uh, that's 
just on one string, man. Except for you when you land on that D on the second fret. So that's with the E. So uh, there you go. You could use something like that in your playing if you wanted. And I think that it really speaks volumes. I really do. I really do. This is a, a new guitar, if you don't know already. So we're still getting it broke in. Strings are still getting stretched out. It's an EVH Wolfgang standard and uh, <clears throat> with the uh, roasted maple neck. You know, you can see it's a lot darker than a usual uh, maple. <laughs> So the melodic stuff try that see if you like it uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this or if not that's fine too i tell you the person to check out for some great lessons and that's rockin dave byron if you haven't checked out rockin dave byron on youtube go over to his channel subscribe he has some great lessons on doing stuff like this and uh check him out he's fantastic until next time this is joe from the jones project uh thank you for watching thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed Hit that subscribe button and click the thumbs up, man. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.